Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around, I have some 6th gen video game pickups to share with you guys. Uh, only got four games here and one guidebook. Uh, but the reason why I'm making this video now at this point is because I have to get stuff together to trade towards a uh, PS4. Uh, right now is actually just a couple days before the Darth Vader uh, PS4 comes out. So I'm trying to get stuff together uh to trade towards it, um, but yeah, I thought this was a decent amount of stuff uh, to show you guys, and at least it's uh, a little bit more interesting, uh, so I guess here it goes. So first up, I got this combination um, art book slash like strategy guide for uh, Final Fantasy XII. It's the uh, Brady Games Limited Edition uh, guide, and it actually has uh, two separate books inside here. Uh, one is the Final Fantasy XII Art Collection, that's this one over here, and then this one on the other side is the Strategy Guide. And I got this for five dollars um, at a Value Village, and actually when I got this, uh, they started up their uh, stamp card sort of promotion again where every time you spend five dollars you get a stamp on the card and this one was four ninety nine and typically they give you a stamp for that but for whatever reason um, the cashier that I was dealing with was actually uh, one of the supervisors and I didn't want to argue with him because it just really wasn't worth it but I was like well I I spent five dollars. It was five sixty-five with tax, and he's like, "Oh, uh, well, uh, you didn't spend five dollars before tax." And I'm like, "Okay, whatever." And I just I walked out of there. But it was just it, it was kind of strange and annoyed me a little bit. But I mean, what can you do, really? Uh, next up, I got these two games at another value village uh... these ones were marked at four ninety nine each uh... it kinda sucks that a lot of value villages across the city now are charging even more for their games uh... i went to one that i don't typically go to uh... and they had a whole bunch of uh... n64 game boy loose psp games loose uh, ds games and some loose super nintendo games all of them priced three, four, five times higher than what you uh, find them at a like a, a gaming store. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Uh, for example, they had Cruisin' USA for the N64 for fifteen bucks, and that was kind of steep for that game. It, like, don't get me wrong; it's not a bad game. It's just kind of high for a game like that. Anyways, I'm just rambling. <laughs> With that, um, I got these two games. They were in the best condition of all the games I, I found that day. They had tons of games, surprisingly, but all of them were priced four ninety nine or more, and a lot of them just weren't worth that price. Uh, so I went, uh, I went ahead and got these two, Hunter the Reckoning. I'm not entirely certain if I have this. Uh, it looks like it's some kind of a 3D beat-em-up. Uh, it says it has a cooperative play with up to four people uh, on a single screen, so that's a... Uh, pretty interesting as well uh, but I don't know if this one here is backwards compatible uh, like on the 360 if it'll play there um, otherwise I'd have to hook up my original Xbox to actually play that uh, but that's going to be going into the collection if I don't already have it and I'm almost certain that I don't have it um, and the other game which I do technically have but I have I should, should, probably shouldn't be speaking away from the camera, but um, I was just looking at my collection down there. And mm. I do have this game, but not this exact version. It's The Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind, and this was, um, I suppose, the initial release. It is uh, complete in there as well. Um, just upside down disc. Uh, it is complete and in very good condition. Uh, but I have the sort of a Platinum Hits version, I think. Yeah, I have the Platinum Hits version uh, that uh, was the one that came with like all the extra stuff. I think it was like, the Game of the Year crap or whatever. Um, not to say Game of the Year necessarily means extra crap. It's just 
it's got something extra to it. I think it has like DLC like included on the disc or something like that. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, please just let me know. But yeah, um, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Now, um, on another day, I went to, uh, this was Game Mania. Uh, I go to Game Mania every so often, but not too often, because it is a little bit out of the way. But if I have a little bit of extra time, I go there. When I say it's a little bit out of the way, I mean it's like a 15 to 20 minute trip on the subway. But if you combine that with the fact that um, most of the times I'm coming from downtown, going to that store, and then going from that store home, it's a significantly longer trip. But again, just rambling there. Uh, they have a lot of loose disc games there, and I saw this one here, and I thought, you know what? This price is okay enough. I think maybe I could make some money off of it, to be honest, uh, to trade it, because, again, I'm trying to trade stuff in to get a PS4, so I need to build up some credit and also uh, possibly get some more cash together. Uh, it's Tales of Symphonia, there's disc 1 and disc 2 in there, um, let's see if I can split them up there, so yeah, uh, disc 1 and disc 2, I paid $15 for it, uh, which is a little high considering that it's just disc only, but it is a more sought after game, and the reason why I bought it loose is because back when I got my copy of Tales of Symphonia, it actually came with uh, two of the, uh, cover arts, um, like, it had, uh, two slips, one was, uh, just English, and the other one was English and French, I don't know if maybe it came originally, like, on the outside of it, or whatever the deal was, but either way, I had two, so I knew that I could piece together a mostly complete copy, just missing the manual there, uh, but for a lot of stores in the city, they don't really care if you have a manual or not. Like, it doesn't affect the price. Uh, but there are a couple stores where missing a manual does affect the price. So I have to be a little um, careful when it comes to that. But you might be thinking, well, $15 is a lot of money to pay for Tales of Symphonia on the GameCube. But really, stores in Toronto already price things higher uh, and then they also have overhead and other things like that, so a whole bunch of stores are actually charging like 40 uh, to $60 for this game, which is kind of ridiculous, but, I mean, what can you do really? Even uh, Game Mania had a complete copy that was in really good condition uh, for $45, and that's pretty decent uh, compared to the prices I've been seeing lately, uh, but still high for me if I was looking to purchase my first copy of the game. Uh, now, the last game that I wanted to show you guys, um, I have this game already, and I got this for two reasons. One, because I know that I can trade it uh, for a little bit of cash, um, and the other reason is because um, I got this from the thrift store that's just down the street from me, and they have this weird promotion now. Um, that doesn't stack with their uh, normal sales. It's just buy any two DVDs, CDs, whatever, uh, like that, and you get the third one for free. But it's, it's kind of weird that some of the employees, they're like, uh, games are included, other ones say otherwise, but what can you do? Uh, the woman that was behind the counter uh, this time uh, just included it all together. So I got this game, another game, and a soundtrack for another game uh, for six dollars and sixty. You know, six dollars and seventy six cents. Um, so I, I thought less than seven dollars for both these games, uh, and the soundtrack that I got. It was a pretty decent price, so I went ahead and uh, paid that gladly for these games. Uh, but yeah, most likely I'm going to be holding on to those two and trading off those. Um, and then also adding this strategy guide and art book to my collection. Um, 
But yeah, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. Uh, I'm also running a 500 subscribers contest. Uh, the link will also be in the description below. Check that out as well if you'd like. And uh, that's it. See ya.